move on to the fourth now. And race four, of course, kicks off the triple trio with a massive jackpot of $13.5 million. It's class four, 1200. This is the lineup. Bingo. 10 pound claimer, but the outside barrier. Falcon Turbo for Douglas White. California Gung Ho, we go down to Top Score and E-Star, who both trialled nicely. Blastoise has been working nicely in the mornings. I think Paul will highlight some of his work shortly. Lucky Guy, the eight-year-old, drawn well, gate one. What a Legends trialled nicely down the straight. Nice Fandango in good form at the end of last season, as was Telecom Rocket. What a legend and break record, who's the first ride in over two years for Alex Ly. So it's great to see Alex back in the saddle there on the weekend. He's had some, some terrible issues with uh, injury over the last couple of seasons. Welcome back, Alex Ly. Yes, welcome back to Alex. Nice Fandango is one of the horses that uh, will be up on the pace here. He's been trialling well with his uh, stablemate Shimmer and Shayu at Jintoki there. They rolled the dice with break record last time out and they opted to uh, sit further forward than they had done at his debut run. Poor old Bingo, he's out in the car park for Alfie Chan and uh, they might roll the dice and be a little bit further forward as well uh, with that uh, claim he provides. A really well rated horse now was a top score. An interesting Zach Purden jumping aboard. Uh, the horse is going nice here in the mornings. He's quite forward and he looks primed for a good race. He's won two races. Just uh, do note they were at uh, Happy Valley but he has from, run some good horses. Shards. And here's Blastoise running away from uh, Blazing Partners. Now, Blazing Partners is a lower-rated horse, but I really like this horse, Blastoise. I did make him a long shot when he ran fifth uh, last start. He's only had two runs for two fifths, and uh, I like the way he's galloping in the morning. I think he's improved. And Little Thunder, Joe Marrera riding for uh, Tony Millard here. This horse has only had the one start, and he was pushed out in the morning, but he did respond nicely enough, I thought, so just one to keep an eye on. All right, I think there's a few to choose from in the first leg of the TT, as you would expect. We're going to start with Douglas White's runner in Falcon Turbo. Left the yard of David Hall in the off-season, but at the end of last season, a ninth fourth behind Circuit 3 closing in. I like the way he closed in. Very quiet in the early stages of this trial, but finished nicely. Cheek pieces will come off him as well. So a little gear change with this. Uh, his work has been good as well. Um, it, there's a number I could have highlighted here. And I do like the way he hit the line, as you mentioned uh, there, Brad. Douglas White uh, does train him. Vincent Ho riding this time. Uh, Barry number five, and uh, he's coming back to 1,200 metres. But he looks good. I think he's a uh, definite chance. Of the trials we've had so far, that was a fairly quality one too with Mega Heart winning, Tom. It certainly was. I uh, really like that trial from Falcon Turbo. Um, looking at top score here, he had a recent trial. Zach Purton rode him in this uh, trial as well. You can see him uh, down on the fence there for uh, Francis Loy. thought this horse had a pretty good season last season. There was a couple of times where he should have been a little bit closer to them. He ended up having two wins and a few minor placings. I think he's got a big chance in this they, race because he was mixing between Class 3 and Class they 4. They will barrowed him a few times as well. There was lots of money going on him too in a couple of those runs at Happy Valley. So he's definitely an interesting runner. I think maybe the more conservative approach race day. And we know East Star, he won that very good race where Craig Star and a whole lot of other impressive young horses were in the minor placings. But there was a couple of very ordinary runs after that. He was pushed on a little bit here late, although he won. Yeah, the, the four starts, he finished towards the back, if not last. So there was something that was wrong with him, I think, slightly wrong anyway. He's drawn 12. He did was pushed out, but did win this trial. So maybe he's back... A little bit. Yeah. I'm happy to watch. Yeah, he's had a harder regularity and some lameness issues after that win, which is probably why his form had gone off. Um, let's now go to Blake Shin, who caught up with Edward Sadler earlier on in the week. He's talking about the eight-year-old lucky guy. Blake, lucky guy, you were in a trial last week. Was it the plan to give him a quiet trial that night? Yes, it was. Um, uh, Dennis just wanted him to have a, have a quiet trial out the back and um, in the lead-up to, to this weekend, and I was particularly happy with how he felt. He, he felt terrific and yeah, I'm pretty happy, pretty happy to be riding him this weekend. And for you as well, there's been a lot of talk about you coming here to Hong Kong to ride over the last few months. It's been, in general, a long time in the making. You've got uh, plenty of rides on Sunday. Are you looking forward to now just getting out there and riding? Yes, I am. It's been a, it's been a long time coming. Yeah, I have to yeah, sort of pinch myself that, you know, we're now here. Um, it's been a lot of hard work to get here over a number of years, probably seven or eight years. And um, I'm just here, you know, working, working my backside off to try and do the best we can. Um, I feel I'm in probably the, the best form I've ever been in my whole career. I'm at an age now where I'm, you know, ready for this challenge. It's Hong Kong's a really, you know, tough, tough place, not only the riding, but the, you know, the mental side. But, um, you know, I'm ready for the challenge and, and hopefully I, I'm, I'm up for it. Do you feel you've got a good book of rides to start things off on Sunday? 
I do. Yeah, look, it's not easy for any any jockey um, we've seen com coming here at their, their first stint. So to have eight rides, I think it's, you know, you know, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that uh, in itself. I think we've got, you know, four or five, you know, live chances. I think Lucky Guy's one of them, Pearl Champion, Epti wins, and Seasons Bloom. You know, might be a bit short for him, but his trial was nice and his work is really good. So I'm optimistic that all those horses are, are chances and even to have a ride for the champion trainer, John Zyers, I'm really excited about that. So I'm making nice connections at this early stage and hopefully that can lead into something really big in the future. Fantastic to see Blake Shin here in Hong Kong and we wish him all the best and he gave Lucky Guy a decent rap there suggesting he should be one to consider for the TT particularly I would have thought. Yeah definitely I, I haven't got him in there. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, uh, got Blake's story so I'm going to stick with him. Uh, he's, he was 250 to 1 on debut, 40 to 1 last time. He's 20 odd at the moment. He's a big bet. It's just gone on Lucky Guy. So a dollar forty favourite Lucky <laughs> Guy. Uh, just after that interview, no, it's a bit skewed <laughs> with that market now. He's on top. Top score I've got in there for second uh, on the back of that trial. His wins have been a happy valley, but look, he's well rated now. What a legend I thought trialed well as did uh, Falcon Turbo. It's open race eight five eleven two. Happy to go each way on Blastoise. Yeah, I'm going with top score here. I think he might be a bit of value. Whether he starts at $15, whether he's uh, that sort of price uh, come start time, that remains to be seen, but I think he's a, a genuine chance. Telecom Rocket down the bottom finished off OK last time out. Uh, won a barrier trial. Falcon Turbo, a good trial from him. And what a legend is another one that's uh, trialled reasonably well. He trialled up on the pace in that trial as well. Uh, did uh, what a legend. 5, 14, 2 and 11. It's not an easy contest, no doubt. I'm going to go with Falcon Turbo. He did win a Class 3, not last season, the season before, and I think he's going along pretty nicely at the moment. But it's not an easy race, that's for sure. Race 5 and 6, we're going to preview those on Racing to Win. Stay with us right after this break.